Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sumo Steve, and welcome to our playthrough of Pokemon Shield. Now, it's been a while since we posted a video to the channel, even longer since we've posted a video that's been Pokemon focused. However, I felt like this was a good opportunity to get back into the swing of things. And with this new generation of Pokemon, maybe you'll join this little adventure with me. With that being said, I hope you'll enjoy the video, and I'll hope that you continue with me along this new Pokemon journey. Ooh. Ooh, we're just popping off. Just right from the get-go. This game looks so good. And who did this man's mustache? A need for them to have their barber's license taken away. Good lord. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh, was he like the Professor Oak? Oh, that's awesome. He's like an elephant Pokemon? Have we had an elephant? Yeah, we had Don Fan. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us. In the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. I like it. And those of us who choose to reign, <laughs> who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Okay, I don't even know what that Pokemon's called, but I kind of want that elephant thing. He actually looks pretty cool. Oh, but I'm just... <laughs> Wait, hold on, I can't read today. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. No. <laughs> Turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Pokemon uh, for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Okay, wow, they are really just pulling out all the stops at the very beginning. Oh, of course he's got a Charizard. I really like the aesthetic that they're going for. Oh, he has his own little like hand symbol thing? That's pretty cool. Exhibition or not, Leon, you're pristine. Oh, well, I can't read that fast. I was... <laughs> I can't... I can't read that fast. Not out loud, anyway. Whoa! The Dynamax Pokemon. This man just digivolved to Mega. Okay, Pokemon Shield. Hey, title drop! Wow, we are really in like a real JRPG right now. And of course we're starting at the house, like any good JRPG. Wow, this game actually looks really good. I mean comparatively, you know. Someone just sitting here chilling on my iPhone or something? like. Hello, hello. Okay, so that's our friend Hop. Oh, that's your flash. That your flash new phone? What? <laughs> Is flash like slang or something? <laughs> Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. So that's what the hand thing was. Is it because... the Is it the three fingers because he, uh... Charizard only has three fingers? I don't know. Didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Oh, okay. So, this is like the big day where we get our Pokemon. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Okay, so he is the... I actually watched some of uh, what this game is about. So he is, Hop is the Pokemon League champion's brother. Come with me, Sumo. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. All right, awesome. So that's actually pretty cool. It's a cool dynamic. So we, we personally have some kind of connection to the Pokemon League champion um, before the game even starts. 
that's actually kind of interesting. Go back, and then you leave in your room. Uh, grab yourself a hat for the weather as well. Of course. Okay, so where is his room is the question. Because apparently it's not there. Oh, this is the most interesting setup. The latest video game console is sitting by uh, the telly? Oh yeah, because they're British. I forgot. The telly. The hell? Uh, okay, cool. Dad's old bag? Okay, so it's dad... Like, why is it... Where's his dad? <laughs> Where's his dad? Are they going to explain that? Okay, so open the X menu by pressing the X button. Cool. Uh, you can save your progress by selecting save. Selecting town map. All right, cool. I'm assuming, okay, town map's gonna be there. Bam. I uh, got the little Rotom thing. All right. So weird that Rotom is like, the poster child for Pokemon now? I mean, of course it's Pikachu, but Rotom's big now? I don't really understand where that came from. Since it came from Gen 4, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I love these sheep. Like, they remind me of Mareep. Oh, it's a little buddy. You can talk to him. Kind of. I mean, you can look at him. <laughs> All right, look at, have a look at you, Sumo. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. It's pretty big. <laughs> at least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Dude, I kind of want one of those sheep things, though. They look pretty cool. Wooloo. Okay, it's a Wooloo. What's it doing here? I mean, apparently it has a, it's having a really tough time trying to open up that gate with its head. <laughs> Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering world. <laughs> well, apparently that Wooloo wants to go, I don't know, be in danger? How about it, Sumo? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first. <laughs> that what with you looking about that big old back? They speak so kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my brain is too fried to actually try to read right now. I'm having a really tough time. What's this man gotta say? Power of Science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? I suppose so. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hey, kid. Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Okay. Wow, it actually has some pretty nice effects in here. Alright, I'm assuming this is like the house I needed to go to? Okay, are you Hop's mama? Yeah. Yeah, you're Hop's mom. Mum? Is he here? Wow, they really did go all out. Like, it is... They're M-U-M mum. Oh, and you've brought along Sumo. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you, <laughs> have you got him crammed in a cupboard? A cupboard? Good lord. He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably just arrived at station in Wetchurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Okay. Um, are there any Pokemon along the way? <laughs> Uh, you still never met my big bro, right? I guess I haven't. He's a damn stranger to me. You can't miss out on the chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. All right, we got roots. Hold on. They got the nice ice maker. Look at that. Got a Pikachu on there? Oh, hey, it's one of those, uh... Isn't that from Gen 4? Who are you? To hop, his brother is a superhero. No, but who are you, though? Anyway, okay, so it saves. Does this game just auto save? I think it did say that it auto saves, and I just wasn't paying attention. Let's get a move on. Oh, hey, is this is like rival music? That's actually pretty cool music. 
Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready to battle against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Sumo, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Oh, so you already have your first Pokemon, but I don't have my first Pokemon? That's kind of lame. So what happens if I try to go? Okay, well... Oh, and he calls me mate as well. This is just lovely. Um, I can't control the camera yet, can I? I heard that you can control the camera at some point. Okay, he's he's looking at me. Alright, so let's see. Wetchurst, and there's Lee! Hey, Lee. What's up, my man? Oh, like I was saying, I really like the aesthetic. I mean, they have, like, these soccer like uniforms on these super soccer looking uniforms but this man has a whole royal cape with like esports looking logos on the back it's pretty crazy hello hello witchers your champion leon is back i promise i'll be doing the best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch it's our unbeatable champion leon you and charizard are the greatest well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the championship title. We are on it. <laughs> and we've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to. Alright. That man was doing the Charizard hand wrong, but whatever. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Man, I will bop that Charizard too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge. To fill the gym challenge? And come battle me. I don't know. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work hard together and to become the strongest in all the world. Uh, that's why I'm going to get a Sobble and just <laughs> wreck that Charizard. Lee. Okay, so Hop's back there. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Oh, okay. So they're British as heck, but they're using uh They're using Imperial measurements. Alright, whatever. Bingo. That's the sort of sharp eye that you under that kept you undefeated for so long, eh Lee? Those bright eyes over there. I've got it. You must be Sumo, am I right? And I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. Couldn't tell. Literally could not tell. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Sumo, I bet you I bet No, bet I can beat the both of you back home. I can't read. That hop always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own. I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bet you farewell for today. Wow. My man is really posing on him. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Wait, what? I can't read. <laughs> it's like the third time I said it in the last 10 minutes. But for some reason, it keeps proving itself to be true. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Sumo and me Pokemon. You brought Sumo and me Pokemon. Okay, I thought he was trying to be Irish for a second. <laughs> you did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the champion Pokemon. Greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Good lord, the loading. <laughs> Take a good look, you two. Alright, bet. The Grass-type Pokemon, Grokey. The Fire-type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the Water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Alrighty. So, I have already thought long and hard about this. Man, this is actually a really good group of starters. Let's go ahead and just get that out of the way right now. It's a super good looking group of starters. Oh wow, they have their own little cutscene.
Wow. This is the best introduction of starters, like, ever. All right, line up, everyone. All right. So, first off, which will you choose? All right. My boy is looking real happy to pick a Pokemon. So, first off, I already know that everyone with just a brain. Okay, so he's already got Wooloo. Everyone with a brain wants to pick Scorbunny, right? I mean, he's the fire type. Everyone picks a fire type. Uh, and he's also, like, fighting, I guess, or is going to turn into fighting, pretty obviously. Um, no one picks the grass type, and I'm not gonna lie to you. Grass monkey looks a little garbage. However, Sobble, my boy, you know I gotta pick you for the one time. It adapts to anything, and surely as, as surely as water flows. Okay, so going with the water type Pokemon Sobble. Absolutely. Come here, my boy. Uh, are we gonna give him a nickname? Yeah, dude. Let's give him a nickname. Let's give him. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, hold on. What? No. I was trying to change to uppercase letters. Oh, because I hit B instead of A. Why is that such a? You know what? I'm not gonna cry. Not gonna cry much anyway. Ah, then I'll go with Score Bunny. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. All right, he just picks a fire type because he wants to be like his brother. Also, I hope he doesn't challenge me to a battle because I sure as heck cannot actually beat two Pokemon. All right. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Aww. I kind of feel bad that I didn't pick him. Like, he, he looks so adorable. All of these starters look adorable. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Oh, wow. Making kebabs. Making, I don't know. What's that meat come from? Because I did see a bunch of Wooloo walking around, and uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like there's one less Wooloo. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along? Uh, getting on all right? Understand one another? Maybe even built up a bit of a love? All right, hold on. Of course I have, Lee. Sumo's made fast friends with his Sobble, too. Listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. <laughs> what are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who's gonna be coming to challenge you. If you think Sumo might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers use their Pokemon to be first rate in battle too. Are we about to battle? Oh, and you're <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, but ah. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take a hop on for the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. All right. Let's go. And more importantly, to have champion time. But whatever. Who cares? Let's get into the battle. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers like. All right then. Let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he's left behind at home, too. Hopefully, uh, only the appropriate ones. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Alright, is this the trainer battle thing? Alright, bet, let's go. He does have two Pokemon. I only have one Pokemon! What kind of unfair crap is this? Pokemon battle is, then. I've got two partners with me. 
Okay, I mean, I guess it is level one, but still. Pound it. Let's hope we use pound. Let's see what this looks like. Eh, okay. Battle animations aren't too bad. I certainly like the menus a bit better. I mean, I had a... I have. I still have it. <laughs> I have Pokemon Let's Go. And, uh, you know, the battle animation it looks about on par, I suppose. Using pound. We're just going to keep pounding. Alright. Cool. So we got that first one. Solve we'll gain experience. Yes, we actually got a level up already. Nice. Learned water gun? Oh, it's over for you. It's actually over for you. Okay, so that's why it's actually kind of fair. Because he starts with something that uh, is weak to you. I can go ahead and use this water gun then. It's over for you, my friend. Let's see what water gun looks like. That actually looks pretty good. Did you already know about type of fanges? Yeah, I did. I've played a, a Pokemon or a Pokemon game or two or three. Alright. Score bunny, you're gone. Wow, level seven already. We just started. Ooh, I like that winning theme though. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Sawball are too much. That's pretty cool. I already like this. Well, that was a shock. I guess I know why uh, Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? Okay, healed my Sobble. Appreciate it. And Sumo, you got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hob, would you? Push him and make him and make the both of you stronger. I thought he was gonna ask me to deliver a parcel. I already want to be. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You seen the battle now, Lee? So come on. You've got to let me take on the gym, uh, the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash here, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you have a whole. <laughs> you two have a whole lot of, you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Sumo. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Your trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots about. Things all okay. Lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. All right, right, right. We get it. Pokedex is then. Let's go on. Let's get it. Let's let's do it. Let's. <laughs> I'm just gonna add lip for hop. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Sumo. That's the kind of enthusiasm trainer needs. I'll let the professor uh, know to expect you. Okay, so we're actually going to go meet the professor now. I'm going to meet the next champion. Completing a simple play decks will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. Alright. Probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Alright, so we're going to go tell mom that uh, we are peace and... Whoa. I bet that Wooloo broke through that gate, didn't it? Yep. He's gone. was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through here? I mean, I'm not, you know, part of CSI or anything, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. Remember the professor, the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Sumo, what do you say? I mean, we gotta go save it. And I mean, we got three Pokemon in between all of us, right? We, we can we can handle ourselves, right? Ah, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Slumbering Wild. Ooh, that music. They are really doing something with the music in here. I'm digging it. The fog is really coming in thick now. 
If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Uh, random battle? Oh, hey, it's the... It's like the rodent Pokemon. I don't have any Pokeballs yet, I don't believe. No, no Pokeballs. So I just gotta fight it. Go for the... Same type attack bonus. Yeah, it's just the early on rodent Pokemon. I like it. It's a little squirrel. Um, we had a. I'm sure we had a squirrel at some point. I don't know. Maybe we haven't. All right. Cool stuff. So there are random battles still. I thought that they only appeared in the overworld, but maybe that's like uh, only most of the time. Okay. Or maybe this is all just uh, scripted. Oh, okay. Rookity? Is that what it's called? Unnerve. Uh, too nervous to eat berries? Okay. Rookity. Interesting. Well, Rookity is gonna have to eat this water gun. Use Peck. Huh, I wonder if that's gonna turn into something interesting. Go ahead and pound it. Save that PP for water gun. I don't know how many times we're gonna have to go through this. I really wish I would have had some Pokeballs though. I wanna catch something. Alright. Just blowing through this. What is that? <laughs> that didn't sound like a Wooloo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all just scripted. Squaw squabble. I have no idea how. There is a wild squo squovit. Squavit or squovit? Effective. Oh, it actually tells you whether or not something's effective. I mean, that's kind of useful. I mean, I don't know. Has that been there the entire time? Move info? Oh, okay, cool. It actually uh, tells you what the uh, moves do. That's pretty neat. I feel like they've made this uh, a bit more beginner friendly without actually holding your hand. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. But yeah, actually adding the uh, effectiveness of moves uh, to the battle screen, that's new, right? Oh, this is some um, creepy music, I guess. Some mysterious sounding music. Just running straight into the fog. That is getting thicker. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get I think I get now why this place is off limits. Uh Oh, I feel like they're in trouble. What is that thing? What in the Is that the shield Pokémon? Okay, question mark appeared. Oh, wow. This is not good. That music is tense. Oh, wow. No effect? Mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed to you? Oh, wow. This is like a real RPG, dude. I mean, everything that I, I see of this game makes it look like more of a real traditional like JRPG. Sumo, I can't see anything. Uh, you okay? It makes it look like a real traditional like JRPG rather than uh, just a, another Pokemon game. Oh wow, it's impossible to see. I can't see anything. I was about to say, should I select run? Oh, wow. 
This is intense. Did he black out? Yeah, he did. Oh, wow. Oh, Leon showed up. What, Lee? You managed to find, <laughs> to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you, <laughs> for you two, and you never showed up. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We we're trying to rescue that Wooloo. Oh, they saved him. The little chap's just fine. Though, <laughs> all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come <laughs> to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did. You did good, Hop. Yeah, we got bopped by a friggin' mysterious Pokemon, and yet we did good, sure. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yes, Umo? I thought we'd had it when that weird fox started rolling in, and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. The moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. It seemed to pass right through it. The moves passed right through it. The fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth one day. For now, let's simply get out of this place. Well, you'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Alright, so... We didn't get an earful from Lee. Uh, that's pretty good. What an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in my t the tale of my legend. Oh, wow, Lee was actually very understanding about that whole situation, huh? Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to the wet to Wedgehurst now. She'll go uh, spare if you leave without a word. She'll go spare? What? These sayings, dude. Why do we have two Budu now? I like how he has no Pokemon, and yet there's like a million Pokemon just around. What kind of sense does that make? Well now, isn't Sobel just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wetchurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobel will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. <laughs> Aww, Sobel. Come home to rest anytime you need. After all, East or West, home is best. Alright, so... I mean, I guess maybe they're all his mom's Pokemon? But, I don't know. Alright, we got all the Wooloo. Got... Lee's house. Um, why are we buying potions at the Pokemon Center? Are shops no longer a thing? Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Scorbunny a bit by having it battle against Pokemon on the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with a purple roof and the red and white ball. Uh, that's Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, I was about to say, is, is that the... Is that the non-existent, uh... Town? Okay. I'm just gonna walk straight past these guys. Found a potion. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk past these guys. That's a Wooloo. I mean, I kinda want one. It's just... I don't want to battle when I don't have a, a Pokeball. Oh, and it actually tells you what items do when you pick them up. I'm gonna battle. Guys, I know I'm just passing up things, but I'm only passing them up. Why is Charizard just chilling? Uh, I'm only passing them up because... First, I want to go buy a... Uh, what's that even say? Is this a shop? Fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? Get yeah, orange berry. Ooh. You can actually buy uh, berries pretty early. Yeah, I can go ahead and get uh, some berries. 
Um, da -da 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 -da. I don't think I need any of that. Um, you get berries pretty early, so uh, your Pokemon can heal themselves. That's actually pretty nice. Ooh, is this for me? Ooh, we're about to be styling. We're about to be styling. Oh shit! <gasps> that Arcanine. Okay, I understand that the Arcanine T is like super expensive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see what goes well with the Arcanine T-shirt. Man, the Arcanine T-shirt is too expensive though. Man, I want the Arcanine T-shirt though. I want that Arcanine T-shirt. I don't even care. You can actually... Oh man, it's over with. It's over with. Okay. Give me them. Man, I want the Arcanine T-shirt. Ah. I don't know. I mean, the Shuckle... Oh, this is too clean. This is too clean. No, I'm not done shopping. All right, let's go ahead and get the Shuckle t-shirt because he's eating some curry. Eat the curry Shuckle t-shirt. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Ooh, hoodies? Oh, that's okay. Give me, yeah, go ahead and get the green hoodie. I don't know, maybe, let me, let me look at the other ones. Let me look at the other ones. I don't know, I don't know. It's too many options now. I don't know, man. This looks pretty cool. Oh my god. Why did they give you all these options? I already got like navy uh, skinny jeans on. I think. Okay, let's get the navy skinny jeans. Yeah, throw those on. Bam. Let's get the. Ooh, you can change your, uh... Yeah, let's change that hat. That hat ain't... That hat ain't it. That hat ain't it. So let's get, like... I don't know. I don't like that knit top, dude. It, it looks like garbage. Oh, this is gonna take forever if I actually sit here and try to, like, make the perfect hat. Or, like, the perfect, like, setup. I don't like the skull cap either. I don't like any of these. I'm not buying that. <gasps> Glasses? This is too legit, dude. Give me the glasses. Yes. All right. All right, we're not gonna get gloves. We're not gonna get gloves, because that's a little too much. I don't know, I'm just gonna go with the green hoodie. Yep. Oh yeah, and we can change our shoes as well. Give me the white loafers. Red socks. Yep. Look insane. I look insane. I love it. I love it though. Dude, you get to customize your trainer so early on now? Wow, this is perfect. Why is this game amazing? Why is this man dead in front of the... Oh my god, why is this man dead in front of the Pokemon Center? Uh, you know your birth month? Uh, I mean, I guess... Yeah, you know what? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to get Pokeballs. Unless you got Pokeballs for me, I'm, I'm not interested. You know what? This seems like a pretty good stopping point. All right. All right, guys. We're gonna stop for here. Ah. Uh, we've got new clothes. We got our starting Pokemon. Uh, we're sitting here right in front of Leon, right in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. All right? And next time, we're gonna be picking it up. But, until then, I'll see you guys later.